Hi, I'm Dave. I'm from Sync Technologies in Franklin, Tennessee, and we're going to go over some of the common issues and problems with the Xbox 360. Nine times out of ten, the common problem for all Xboxes is heat. Uh, if you have your Xbox in a cabinet or in a bookshelf that has a very low airflow, you will get the red ring a lot sooner than somebody that has their Xbox out. The heat sinks that are in here um, are constantly pulling air through them. So if you have a dusty house, pets, animals, anything like that, it's going to plug up the heat sinks sooner than if it's on a tile floor. The way to prevent a red ring of death is keeping the Xbox clean and keeping the Xbox cool at any time. And that pretty much goes for all game systems. I recommend getting some canned air any kind from any office store and then while your Xbox is in blow from the front side to the back side and all the fuzz and lint and everything that's in it will blow out the fans in the back. That right there will alleviate nine out of ten problems on the Xbox before the red ring happens. Another common problem with the Xbox is the E74 issue and Basically, what happens with the E74 is once the processor gets really, really hot, especially with some of these new games that are coming out, the Xbox gets uh, a lot hotter than normal. Um, the solder that's on the bottom of the GPU or the graphics processor unit will actually melt. And once that melts, that solder can actually move around if the Xbox gets bumped and the solder will actually touch another pin or leg that's underneath the GPU. Once that happens, you will get an E74 or a red ring. There's only one fix that I know of that works for the E74. You want to go through the steps to take your Xbox apart completely down to the motherboard and take the X-Wing off of the bottom of the GPU only, which is the short heat sink, the small one. And after that's off, you want to actually pull it up, set it off to the side, take and plug your RF and on button back into the motherboard in the front, plug your power in, plug your uh, video cable in, Turn the unit on until you get two red blinking lights on the left side. Do that for 10 seconds and then unplug the power, unplug the video cables, take the on button off of here, let it sit for maybe 10 seconds or so. Take your heat sink, put it in the holes for the motherboard, and then you're going to want to lift up on the motherboard on the opposite of the power switch side so that the legs actually protrude through the bottom of the motherboard because if you have it down it'll actually push the heat sink up too far away from the GPU. Just prop something under it and push down evenly, not hard, just enough for the heat sink and the heat paste to actually make a seal on the top of the GPU. After that turn the unit on again, put your uh, box back or your uh, on button back on, plug your power and your video in, turn it on and your Xbox should come up with no problem. After that turn it off with the button and then take a hot glue gun, do not press down on top of the heat sink itself and run a bead of hot glue all the way around the bottom of it or the base of the heat sink to hold it in place. But do not push down because that will cause your E74 again. After that's done Reassemble the Xbox, but just remember that this Xbox now has to lay on its side. The GPU does get hot enough to melt the hot glue or at least make it pliable. If you set the Xbox up on its side anymore after that, it will melt the, the uh, hot glue that's on the heat sink and the heat sink will pull away and you'll have the same problem again or it will ruin the Xbox. So just make sure that you have it laid on its side.